Switzerland trains a growing number of orthopedists each year. In 2016, the number was 160. The orthopedic exams are organized by Swiss Orthopedics, the Society of Orthopedists in Switzerland. Since 2013, the exam has included a Vertimed Arthros simulator to test the doctor's arthroscopy skills. Dr. Ariane Gerber-Pop is a shoulder surgeon in the Baselland Canton Hospital. In 2016, she was elected the president of Swiss Orthopedics Certification Committee. I think at the moment this is the most uh, realistic uh, simulator you can, you can, uh, you can get on the, on the market. This is giving a, a quite true vision of, uh, of the knee and the, and the shoulder joint. That's what we, we test uh, in, the, in the examination. Benefit uh, using this simulator was to, to test arthroscopy at all, because before we didn't do any arthroscopic uh, testing. We did, uh, also, we did only uh, open approaches and uh, anatomy, anatomy on, uh, on cadavers, but we didn't test arthroscopy because on, on cadavers it would be a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of more expenses also for the, uh, for the exam and would be very um, um, demanding for the expert to, having, to have a uh, um, constant um, a comparable situation for every, uh, for every uh, people we test. Arthroscopic surgery of the knee or of the shoulder is a very frequent uh, surgery nowadays and this belongs to the tools a surgeon has to manage for his, uh, for his work. Dr. Pascal Schenk is an orthopedist in Valgris Hospital in Zurich. He took the Swiss orthopedics exam in 2016. My point of view, a very, very good tool for beginners. Uh, we say if you start to, to practice arthroscopy, it's very good. Um, we here in the Balgrist clinic we are the, uh, we are lucky, lucky guys, lucky girls, that we have our own simulator here, so we can train as much we want. We practice this, yes, especially when, when you're not uh, resident anymore, so you have to operate by yourself, then you prepare more. Uh, I think it's uh, really okay that uh, that's also Okay, it's a part of the examination. Compared with uh, the other parts of the anatomical things, uh, for me it's important that it's nothing uh, falls out. Would Dr. Gerber Pop go back to having exams without the simulator? No, I think we we will not go a step back. I think that's that's a, a, a part of this examination now and going back to uh, or go moving to a cadaveric uh, lab during this exam is logistical, not possible. The simulator is able to give a standardized um, evaluation of the person who is doing the, a skill or an exercise on the simulator. And that would be a very important, could be a very uh, interesting way to, uh, to test everybody in the, in the same manner. And that's not something we are already doing now, but uh, we would be able to have a standard for everybody who say so many people have uh, passed the exam with uh, so many seconds, so many uh, stars catch in this time, and they, they have reached this level. And if you are under that, then, then you didn't pass the exam. 